Hi everyone, this is Parinsha and today we are going to learn how to get stock information or calculate portfolio value within Excel. Yes, you heard it right. If you like to use Excel to get stock information or the calculate your portfolio value, you can do that directly from within Excel. You don't have to copy and paste or externally import this information. If you are an Excel 365 subscriber, you already have access to this. But don't worry, you can use this feature through online Excel workbook. It's in the data tab in the group called data types. Now they are also referred to such as reach data types. So I am going to set up a stock portfolio and use the stock data type to get information about portfolio and see how it's doing. Uh, let's get to work to set up the portfolio. I'm going to use these data types in Excel and you can get there by going to data, data types and we have the stock data types here. In addition, I have a geography and organization. Now I'm using the online Excel workbook. Uh, notice when I hover over this stock here, it tells me it can convert cells with the company names or ticker symbols like MSFT to get current stock information like price exchange and more. So let's give it a try. I'll do what it says. I'm going to typing MSFT in there just to see what we get. Once you have the company name or the ticker symbol, click on stocks. This is going to try to convert this to a rich data type. Now currently it's not converted because it has a question mark. It doesn't know which type of exchange we want. Is it Nasdaq, Santiago or so on. You can select one that you need. So I'll go with the Microsoft Corporation here and I automatically get this little house or institute icon together with the name and the ticker symbol and the exchange. And this is here is a rich data type. This means that if I hover over this icon here, it tells me a show card. Now when I click, I get a lot of information about this data more than what I see in the cell. So here I have the current stock price, last trade time, the change, the change in a percentage, 52 week high, 52 week low, price earning ratio and lot more. You can even see the number of employees, the headquarters and industry in here. Now what if you want to add any of this information to yourself? Well, all you have to do is hover over this and you get this plus icon extract price grid. Just click on it and we get the price and decide if you want to, want to add more information. So you can go back here and add something else. So let's see this time I want to get the high price. So I'm just going to click on the plus and it adds to the next cell. Now notice when you go to the cell, you have a formula here. So all of this dynamic, it equals B3 dot high value. This means that you can write formula to extract part of this data as you need. So for example, if I go here and then put in the dot, I automatically get the drop down and I can make my selection. So if I want to see the number of employees, I'm going to double click on employees, press enter and get the dynamically in there. Okay, so now that we are clear on the basis of this, uh, let's quickly set up our stock portfolio. Okay, so let's assume I have Microsoft now. This time I'm just going to type like Microsoft, then Google. I know the ticker symbol should be Google, Amazon and let's add the Laura Labs. Now I want this to turn into a data types. I am going to highlight this and click on stocks. This is one I want. I am going to click on select if you want to another exchange. And now for example, the NASDAQ here for Microsoft, you can right click, go to the data type, change and here you can update your text. 
you get the different exchanges and then you can select from them here in this case I am going to stick with Nasdaq so let's close that now I have added my stock let's say when we get more information about all of this I can select them all go to this card here and get for example the 52 week high and I get that automatically for all the ones that I selected if you want to this to be dynamic so that you can add more stocks and everything updates automatically it is best that you can turn into an official excel table go to the insert and insert a table uh, this table doesn't currently have a header so I am going to click on OK and updates the header myself now you can also adjust the formatting of table so let's go and remove it so that's we can add in our own go to home make the bold add the thick bottom border to this okay so now that is the table what I'm also going to do update the name of table call it T stocks I'm going to add more information to this so I click on the plus here and let's get the ticker symbol so I'm going to scroll all the way down to T's here the ticker symbol and I get that automatically in there now I want to add the, some input as well because I want to add information about the number of sets I bought and the buy price so let's add those in a sets I just want sir that this is going to be input so let's highlight this and select the light yellow color here then I want to add buy price I want to use this to be also input so let's apply the same color here is going to be my portfolio cost which is going to be multiply this with that praise enter because it's a table so it's using a table header name so it's a structure referencing and automatically copying the formula down I don't have to pull down uh, this is calculated I'm going to update the color and make it light green okay so let me just add me add in my sets and buy price of each set to get my portfolio cost okay so I have added more information in now let's also update the formatting of this uh, what we want to do is get to current price of the stock it would also be good to have the 52 week high and 52 week low so let us add that to our table all we have to do is just go somewhere on this table until you get the card icon showing to decide click on it and add what you need I want the price I also want to get the 52 week high and low is a good information to have so let us scroll 52 week high and let's add a 52 week low to this well and so now that we have to information let's calculate our portfolio value which is going to be the current price multiplied with this number of share at the moment I press enter everything is copied down automatically now I want to find out for position is it up or down I need to compare the current portfolio value with my portfolio cost that minus this and then I'll know if I'm making a money currently or losing a money if I was able to give you what you were looking for then please do like comment and subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more updates Thank you.